eventually every car company will have long-range electric cars. Eventually every company will have autonomy, but not every company will be great at, at manufacturing. Uh, Tesla will be absolutely head and shoulders above anyone else in manufacturing. That is our goal. Brilliantly phrased, Elon. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong, and this is my Tesla Battery Day extended recap on stage presenters by Elon Musk and Drew Baglino, who is the chief of powertrain and engineering at Tesla. Both these gentlemen are super knowledgeable and there were many details about metallurgy, cell chemistry, manufacturing processes and structural engineering. So this recap will be somewhat technical as well but I'll try and break it down to the essentials for you. These guys jumped right in. First goal was to get to a terawatt hour scale battery production for both their vehicles and stationary batteries like Powerwall and Megawall. To get to 100% electric vehicles, they need to grow 100 times with existing techniques and to get to 100% renewable energy, Tesla needs to grow 1,600 times. As of 2019, they were producing 0.1 and 0.06 terawatt hours respectively. Gigafactory in Nevada produces 0.15 terawatt hours, spending $2.6 trillion and to reach 20 terawatt hours, they need 135 gigafactories. So current techniques and processes wouldn't do it. That's where Terra Factory comes in. Terra will be the new Giga. Second goal is to make the cells more affordable. The dollar per kilowatt hour must be reduced. Tesla's current 2170 cells cost approximately 150 to 180 dollars per kilowatt hour. As Elon has said many times, the magic number is $100 per kilowatt hour, then it will become game over for ICE vehicles. Despite a reasonable decline since 2012, in recent times it has somewhat plateaued and this has triggered a radical rethink by Team Tesla. Tesla have a plan to half the cost per kilowatt hour by radically rethinking, inventing or redefining these five processes. This is Tesla's master plan and boy, I hope they patented it. In the presentation, Tesla started with cell design. First, we got a 101 class on how the lithium ion batteries are currently produced. They use a jelly roll design with anode and cathode wrapped in a roll with a tab in between with movement of electrons between the cathode and anode in forward and reverse directions based on the state of charge. From their 1865 batteries, uh, well, they dropped the zero, so no more 18650. So from their 1865 batteries to their 2170 batteries, there has been a 50% increase in energy, and they have found that increasing the outer diameter of the cells reduces the cost. The magic number, according to Elon, is 46 millimeters. This also drastically reduces the supercharging times, win-win indeed. And then they showed the redesigned cell architecture, which is simpler to manufacture, has fewer parts and has five times reduction in an electrical pathway. This is a shingled spiral design of the new 4680 cells, which holds five times more energy, extends the range by 16% and has six times more power. It is named 4680 cell because of the outer diameter being 46 millimeters and height being 80 millimeters. This new cell design reduces the overall cost by 14%. Next up is the cell factory. This is an overview of all the basic processes in any cell factory and the first refinements that Tesla made to theirs is to the electrode production. This is how many steps it would take to produce these electrodes at this time. The size and resources, not to mention the cost, is quite enormous. Tesla says that they have simplified this to a two-step process, which is a 10-time reduction in footprint and 10-time reduction in cost. You remember Maxwell, which Tesla acquired last year? This process is the fourth iteration of Maxwell's concept. Super cool indeed. This video shows the beauty in that simplicity. Simple is definitely hard. Next, the assembly process. Since there are no tabs in the cells, being a shingled design, there is no need to stop production to install the tabs. 
so the cells can be produced in a high-speed continuous motion assembly. So for every assembly line, there is a seven times increase in output, which in Elon's own words, it's pretty great. Yeah, it's pretty great. The next process to be refined is formation. Now, I didn't know what formation was, so this is the first time I'm hearing this. Formation is the step where battery is charged for the first time and it holds 25% of the investment of any battery factory. This is a quality control step where the battery manufacturer needs to charge and discharge the cells to check for quality issues. But because Tesla has so many cars in their fleet, they have charged and discharged millions of cells, giving Tesla a unique advantage, which has helped them both to speed up the process and to reduce the size of the testing equipments. No other OEM out there has this advantage at this time. This has resulted in a massive 86% reduction in investment and 75% reduction in the footprint. This step reduces the cost by 18%, bringing the overall reduction to 32%. Let's take a quick look at how the invitees watched this event. It was a massive open air theater and individuals were driven in their own Teslas, which were sanitized. And yes, this happened on live stream. Oh, bless him, Tesla Raj. Okay, back to the slides. So what does this 32% mean? It means that the investment in a Terra factory would be 75% less than for a Giga factory and 10 times smaller in footprint. Next up, active materials in the cells. And first up was the anode. They spoke about the abundance of silicon and how it can be charged with lithium nine times more than graphite. And graphite is the typical anode material which is used in cell production right now. So why aren't people using silicon, you may ask? Well, according to Tesla, silicon will crumble when fully charged with lithium. That's the way the cookie crumbles, I suppose. This current process of using silicon is also super expensive and it's barely a convenience. And so today, Tesla introduced Tesla Silicon. Yeah. So and the best part of it, anode will now only cost $1.20 per kilowatt hour. ka -ching. I would say, and this one step improves the car's range by 20%, a double catching indeed. And when the anode cost is factored in, this reduces the dollar per kilowatt hour to a further 37%. Next up was cathode. I really love this analogy that cathodes are like bookshelves, where the metals are the shelves and lithium are the books. These cathodes are made of iron, nickel or cobalt and they really retain cell structure. So Tesla is now producing a high nickel cathode process which has zero cobalt. And it has a 15% reduction in the cathode cost per kilowatt hour. Kaching, yes please. But it's not only about nickel. Tesla is now looking at a diversified cathode approach so that there is no nickel constraint. They have a three-tiered approach. Iron will be used as cathode for medium range Nickel and manganese for medium plus to long range and high nickel for something like semi or truck to most of us here in Australia, which needs higher energy density. Well, did you see this? More on that in just a bit. Tesla proposes to change the very cathode process in itself to create Tesla cathode. As you can see, Tesla's process has vastly reduced number of steps. And this in turn reduces investment cost by 66% and process cost by 76% with zero water wastage. Now, to lithium. Elon said, lithium is abundant. You can actually convert the entire North American fleet with just lithium found in Nevada. I would love to ask him this question. Think of how many countries' fleets one can convert if they brought a Terra factory to Australia. Do it, Elon. And yes, Tesla will get into recycling their batteries as well. So Tesla is comprehensively answering environmental questions asked of them and also rebutting all of the FUD. Be gone, you Tesla Q. This cathode process results in an overall reduction in cost per kilowatt hour of 49%. This in itself is awesome, but they still had one more ace up their sleeve. Next is cell vehicle integration. 
Tesla showed a gigantic press which creates the front and back sections as two separate massive single piece castings using the largest casting machine ever made. Now this casting machine is no pipe dream. It is right now working in Fremont factory making Model Y sections and they also use a custom Tesla alloy which does not need heat treating or coating. Elon did make mention of this alloy in an interview with Sandy Munro. Batteries will now be used for structural stability too, something akin the fuel tanks incorporated into the wings of aircrafts. Pretty cool indeed. This single piece front and back casting will have structural batteries between them and this will result in 270 lesser parts and more impressively further 7% reduction in cost per kilowatt hour pushing the overall savings to a massive 56%. As you may recall, the current cost of the battery is $180 per kilowatt hour. 56% of that, if my math is right, is $100.80 per kilowatt hour. That's basically game over for ICE. When all these improvements are stacked up, Tesla say that there will be an increase in range of 54%, a 56% reduction in dollar per kilowatt hour, and a 69% reduction in the investment. And we all knew that there was going to be a 69 in this presentation, didn't we? 69.420, as Elon says. These are not pipe dreams. Tesla right now has a pilot 100 gigawatt hour factory with all these new processes incorporated into them. And by 2030, they aim to reach three terawatt hours. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Take it away, Elon. Uh, so, uh, we, you know, we're, we're confident that long term we can design and, and manufacture a, a, a compelling $25,000 electric vehicle. Um, so, you, you know, this, this, this has always been our dream from the beginning of the company. I even like wrote a blog piece about it um, because, um, you know, our first car was, was an expensive sports car and, and then, it was, then it was like slightly less expensive sedan and then finally sort of a I don't know, mass market premium, but you know, like the Model 3 and Model Y. Um, but it really it was always our goal to try to make an affordable electric car. And um, I think probably, uh, we, we, like I said, about, about three years from now, uh, we're confident we can make a very, com a, a very compelling $25,000 electric vehicle uh, that's also fully autonomous. And when you think about the $25,000 price point, you have to consider how much, in it, how much less expensive it is to own an electric vehicle. Yeah. So actually, it it's, it it becomes even more affordable at that twenty-five thousand dollars price point. Yeah. So we have uh, and extreme performance and range, um, and uh, we should probably talk about uh, the you know Model S Plaid. You know what about that? Um, and you can order it now, uh, and it's uh, available uh, uh, basically end of next year. And sure enough, the Plaid Model S is available for pre-order here in Australia. It starts at $189,990 and tops at an eye-watering $265,596 here in New South Wales, Australia. But right now, you only have to pay $1,500, so maybe you want to go for it. So how many of you have pre-ordered? please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Now let's do a quick analysis of what we have heard on battery day. With a dramatic reduction in cost per kilowatt hour and reduction in the investment per gigawatt hour and an additional increase in range of 54%, it will be near impossible, at least in the short term, for competition to catch up, let alone beat Tesla. So if you can't beat them, join them, they say. Maybe the other car manufacturers will become Tesla's customers just for battery battery business may dwarf Tesla's car, energy and solar business put together. If you add to this mix the $25,000 car, which will also be autonomous, so robo taxi there, the advantages are going to be enormous. Surely, Wall Street must love Tesla now. Um, well, never mind Wall Street. 
this is where Tesla's retail investors come in. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what I'm doing, click on that subscribe button and on the bell icon. Leave your thoughts on battery day in the comments below. I'll see you guys in another interesting video very soon. Until then, this is Nash from Tesla in the Gong signing off. Peace.